Insta 360 ONE X. How neat is that? Today, we're gonna be unboxing and doing the first impressions of this new camera as it applies to the paramotoring environment. So if you're just joining us, my name's Tucker Gott. Welcome to the channel. I fly paramotors, have fun, make videos. And this is the Insta360 ONE X. As the name implies, it's a 360 degree camera. So full disclosure before we get into it, the guys at Insta360 reached out to me, asked if I wanted the camera. They sent it over along with this Aviation Sky Bundle, all for free and in exchange I'm making this video about it. So what do we got going on? This is the camera itself. We have two rechargeable batteries. We have a battery charging station. This, I believe, is the invisible selfie stick. This is some sort of GoPro-esque mount, along with a GoPro-esque mount bundle. They even sent over an SD card. And this is the multi-function bullet time handle. I don't really know what that is, but I think you spin it around or something. What I'm most interested in is the selfie stick. Damn, that's long. My signature 360 angle is to kind of sit on this pole and have the camera out in front of me. That way I can pan around, look at myself, look up and out and fully stabilized 360 footage. That is a nice selfie stick. All right, so we're down here at the park, just getting ready to fly. Weather is turning out to be pretty perfect. Winds are still up there, but can't complain. I have the Insta360 ONE X, and this is the setup. I've got it on the selfie stick. It's very streamlined and compact. And I've got a little carabiner, so I can just hook it and then extend it in flight. This is actually like the nicest selfie stick I've ever had, so props to Insta360 on that. If you guys know 360 video, there's Two ways to consume it either with like a vr headset in 360 or edit it into a video and that's what i do that's how i like to use it so i'm going to share with you guys at the end of the video how the whole post processing part goes but hopefully it's a lot more streamlined hopefully the quality is good hopefully the stabilization is good but we won't know until we go fly So she just sits right there and uh, we should have just about the shot of the century looking back at myself with no selfie stick in the frame. So the cool thing about having a 360 cam, I always try to incorporate different camera angles into my flying videos. One of which is the foot cam, one of which is the chase cam, and one of which is the hoop cam, and of course the primary helmet cam. But having this Insta360 out here, I can have a shot of myself, a stabilized forward looking shot, a right and a left shot, and anything in between. So I can frame that up and kind of make the angle whatever I want it in post. So it's kind of like 10 different cameras in one. So after using the GoPro Fusion for a while, I kind of deemed that it was a specialty camera. I would only really take it on flights that were extra special because it was such a hassle to render the footage in post. Now what I'm hoping with this camera is that the rendering and post and editing is so streamlined that I can actually incorporate it as like one of my primary camera angles. But we won't know that until the end of the video when I come back with the results. Oh yeah. Freaking summer 
time cruising. Finally got some good weather. And boy, am I happy about it. I posted on my Instagram that I was testing the uh, new camera tonight. So I got a post again that we're flying with it. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's just uh, Tucker Got, and you'll get updates on what's going on. Before anything is actually posted. So follow me at Tucker Got. Let's see if we can connect to the camera mid flight on my phone. Oh, dude, 10 out of 10. That looks so good. Dude, I'm looking at myself in third person and it's tripping me out. Like I can lift my arm and there it goes and there's no selfie stick. Oh, legendary. This is gonna be so good. That's sick. So the app works. Is that a freaking bear? That woman is walking a bear on a leash. Loki is just a dog, but straight up looks like a black bear. That thing has got some fur. That dude is thick with two C's. Oh, that Sirocco looks crisp. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Straight up tip touching. All right. Got the Insta 360 fired back up. Uh, I found the first issue. I was linked up to the app and I was so stoked at my preview. And then apparently somewhere along the line, when I closed out of the app, it stopped recording. And I missed the freaking water foot drag. Oh, these are my good shoes. I'm trying not to get them wet. Oh. So we're gonna have to recreate that shot somewhere else. Not to worry, I'll find another swoop pond and it's not gonna be that one. Cause if you go down there, you're probably gonna die. You're probably gonna get eaten by the Loch Ness Monster. We need shallow water, preferably one to two inches. Cause I'm not a good swimmer. Ew! Abandoned building, perfect test bed for the Insta360. Proximity swoop on the roof. Probably gonna be turbulent, but we'll find out today. Oh yeah, it's turbulent. <laughs> Alright, we may have failed pod swoop attempt number one, but I'm ironing out, ironing out the kinks on this Insta360. I've found a new pond, so uh, round two, here we go. Just flying my paramotor. Oh yeah, pond swoop, epicness. She's glassy. <laughs> yes. Pond swoop number two was even better than pond swoop number one. Oh Jesus, there is a deer on the side of the road and I'm gonna do my best not to scare him into traffic. Buddy, step away from the road. God damn, can you imagine I captured a deer getting smacked by an SUV on the roadway? Freaking viral. Okay, he's he's so confused. I feel like I need to document this because I feel like it's gonna happen. Nope, he's running away from the road. Good deer. Deer are so freaking stupid, dude. They have the survival instincts less than a squirrel. You know, like you see a squirrel on the road or the side of the road, and they run away like every other animal should. A deer, they just see a vehicle and they're like, run. Doesn't matter what direction, they'll run right at your car. I suppose that's probably my man Judson coming in hot and dirty. Oh shit, I see a deer. There's legit a deer in front of me. I think his name's Buck. Yeah, Buck. We can get it. There he goes. Going for the downwind knee drag. Keep it together.
together, buddy. I don't want to film carnage. He's going so fast. <laughs> yeah. Here's our opportunity for the tip touch. Mr. Yudson. Oh, little too fast. Slow her down. Bring her in. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, whoa. whoa. I'm flying way too slow. <laughs> Here we go. Round two. Oh, lining her up. Nice. Yes. Greased it. Greased it, my friend. Way better. <laughs> So I'm just going to roll some music, you guys enjoy the, the rest of this flight, and I will see you in the post-processing. So the Insta360 ONE X, here are my concluding thoughts after using it for one flight and one video. Overall, I give it a big thumbs up, positive experience, but here's some of the pros and cons and why it isn't exactly perfect just yet. So on the list of pros, pretty much everything. The form factor is great. The integration with the selfie stick is great. Using it in flight is very easy, as easy as it can get really. The quality I thought was really good. The stitching was great and the footage I think just comes out really, really good. It's like almost like having a drone fly right in front of you, but you can pan and tilt it anywhere you want. Battery life didn't seem to be an issue at all. I finished the flight with plenty of battery life left. SD card space, just the same. So functionality is really, really good um, while I'm actually using it. Now, the major con is when we get to the post-processing. So Insta360 does this thing. Um, they have a plugin for Premiere Pro, which is the software I use, where you can essentially just click and drag the clip straight from the camera to the editing software, and it stitches the footage on the fly. This is what I was really hoping would be a game changer, but unfortunately, it's not quite there yet. Watching the footage in the preview in Premiere Pro is extremely laggy to the point that it's almost not possible. This means that I essentially have to turn off the Insta360 timeline and almost edit it blind. So when I go through and make all my cuts, I have to turn it off and not look at the Insta360 at all. Then when I come back for the second pass, what I have to do is not hit play, but grab the timeline preview thing and scrub through and still it's even so laggy that I'm almost guessing where to put the keyframes to uh, pan and tilt the camera around. Now one, this could be somewhat my system. I'm sure if I had a better computer, I wouldn't experience these troubles. Two, I don't necessarily blame the company. I think it's just the state that 360 footage is in right now. The way they code the footage or whatever, the formatting that they use, I don't even know the technical jargon, but it just seems like it's not a very efficient file. It just uh, lags way too much and taxes the system a lot. I feel like in the future, as 360 stuff progresses, the file formatting will get better and it'll be easier to edit on relatively consumer grade systems. So to be honest, editing this very video took hours, maybe five times longer than a normal video takes to edit. So what that means for me is, unfortunately, I don't think this camera will be a daily driver where I can just set it up in the field and not think about it and then go edit it in post and have everything work smoothly. It's still gonna be a camera that I reserve for special flights. For example, the viaduct or when we're out west and traveling to really cool cinematic places, that's where I'll use this camera. But as just a daily, bring it on an everyday flight, 
it's just not there yet. So I wanna say if you are interested in getting an Insta360, click the link down in the description. That's where you can pick one up. Special thanks to the guys at Insta360 for sending this camera over. Aside from the Insta360, you might be wondering where I got this sweet shirt. Stay tuned, next week, Risky Biscuits Co. is dropping some new merch and this is gonna be one of them. So if you're watching now, sneak peek of what's coming next week, stay tuned as well because we are gonna do a giveaway that's of legendary proportions. We are legitimately gonna change someone's life. So stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's gonna be awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Till then, peace. Zzz,